Yeah, we'll show here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 10, Clarity. In this episode, we continued working with our beat poem rhythm. We are deep in it at the moment with rhythm nuances of expression and notation. Case in point, this beat poem here, which we're going to play for you now in its entirety. Here we go. And what's going on here is there's a lot of interplay between tempo and phrasing, um, line labeling and pickups, uh, how we hear rhythm when it keeps changing. This is probably, we were joking that 20 times he said, well, I think we've got it now. Um, and that happened when we were composing with melody pitches previously that we would, uh, the ballad, the first thing we ever did on a stream and then you can just change it all over the place so we're still expanding with eighths and sixteenths and how to annotate and still show a beat um, you can see here that we're using the accent mark to show the beat on what word, what was our role in its creation. And we're trying not to play this thing underneath it. We have that muted. Uh, but we're still, for the reading, the reader needs to know where are you supposed to be emphasizing it. So we're still experimenting with that quite a bit. Um, second thing we worked on quite a bit was um, we are um, exploring that new variation on a scale. Uh, the typical Do Re Mi scale is this one here, which we've heard before. And the minor version. We're working with the new variation from a guy 125 years ago, the major. And the minor. They sound similar, but they're different. They're very different. This scale, the traditional one that we know and love has this black key and this black key are excluded from the count. So basically it's a 10 tone scale. This one excludes these two white keys and otherwise it's also a 10 tone scale. So in order to work with it, um, we know that it'll have 120 chords, but we don't know what they are. So we just set out in this series to compose something and that's what you heard us playing so what we're going to do is to bring us home play the entirety of this piece which we're kind of tickled with we think it's in good shape it's got a beginning and an ending and a middle here we go
<laughs> One thing we were listening, we like about it is after a while you get used to that scale, that, that jump. The, the big difference in this scale is this jump here. And you really hear it at the end. But by the time you get done, So now it sounds just right. It sounds just right. So that concludes today's episode. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with our, this one. We want to double check some parts. There's a little bit of annotation cleanup. And we also want to count. We Like we said, there are 120 chords in that new scale. We think we have may have come up with 30 or 40 of them so far in this composition. We also want to work some more at the beat poem, uh, double check the rhythms yet again. Maybe we'll make for 30 times we say it's just right and make a recording of it. So uh, shout outs to Chael's Roper who stopped by, Jess Dahuski who stopped by, and Mr. Spatz. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.